to understand myelination, we have to know where it comes from. So this is an oligodendrocyte, and myelin would come from the oligodendrocyte uh, processes or extensions of its plasma membrane. As it matures, the processes would touch um, the axons and then later on tighten and thicken as it wraps around these axons. So key concepts, fully mature myelin is T1 bright and T2 dark. During development, the T1 changes would come first, T2 comes later. The T1 changes um, is due to laying down of lipid. So picture a cement truck laying down lipid or one of the components of myelin. And then T2 changes comes later. This is due to the thickening and tightening of the myelin spirals. So think about the uh, myelin becomes thickened with tightening of the spirals becoming more solid appearing. And this corresponds to T2 dark signal. So this is the adult configuration. We have T1 bright and then T2 dark signal. And the earliest this configuration is seen is at 24 months. The white matter signal is due to several things. To include water content and then myelin content. So at birth, the myelin... Uh, the white matter tracts are still filled with water, therefore it is T1 dark, unlike this adult configuration. So we'll take a look at examples. So at birth to 6 months, we have white matter, which is high, has high water content. So we have dark signal here and white signal here, bright signal here. T1 hypo, T2 hyper. So if we put myelinated matter, white matter, here in this area, it will be seen as white or bright signal in the background of white matter tracks, which are still water rich. Therefore, when we want to check myelin, at birth to six months, we would like to look at the T1 weighted sequence. T1 weighted sequence for the first six months. Now beyond six months, the white matter tracks are now laid with lipids. Therefore, it will become T1 bright. At this time, some of the myelinated or some of the myelinated fibers would mature and as we have said before after the t1 changes the next step is to have t2 dark signal change because of the thickening and tightening of the my myelin spirals so take a look at this the posterior part of the corpus callosum the splenium is t1 hyper intense and T2 hypo intense. In contrast, the anterior portion is hyper intense in T1 but not yet dark on T2. So, myelin would be seen here. Mature myelin would be seen on T2 as a dark signal in the background of bright signal. Again, T1 for the first six months, T2 thereafter.